guys, it's Hannah here and welcome to part 2 of my 2013 beauty favourites. This cat sex... Mm. Hey guys, it's Hannah here and welcome to my 2013 beauty favourites part 2. This part consists of my eye, pro eye fa product favourites, my skincare, my hair care and other kind of random beauty favourites. So let's get started with the eyes because that is the biggest category. So... My favourite eye primer for the year. I've tried out so many eye primers that I don't actually have a favourite of the year. Except my favourite from last year. And that is the Miraness Sexy Secret Eye Primer. I lately have been absolutely loving the um, Benefit Stay Don't Stray. But this all year round has been a favourite. And I've been using a lot of cream shadows. Cream shadow favourite of the year. Maybelline colour tattoos. My favourite colours. That's the bronze again. And my favourite colour, new colour of the year, is Barely Branded, the champagne colour. It is so pretty. I love it. And they're both are great eye bases. Eyeliners. I have been using my Jordana Fabulina as my eyeliner. But I have found a new eyeliner that throws that out of the water. That is terrible compared to this other eyeliner that I like. Which I'm pretty sure I mentioned in my December. No, I didn't mention it in my December favourites. Because I haven't had it for that long, so I can't count it as a yearly favourite. But my favourite pencil eyeliner formula is the Miraness Cat Eyeliners. I mentioned this in my princess tag. These are the eyeliners I go for if I'm using pencil. I always, if I'm using pencil on my lower lash line, it's one of these. Unless it's one of my bright colours. It's usually one of these. I love them. My favourite gel liner of the year has been the Revlon Colour Stay in black. I've gotten into gel liner this year. Only about the second half of the year, but this has been my favourite to use for gel eyeliner. It is awesome. It's super creamy. I've gone through so much of it that you can't even see, but I love it. Eyebrows. My eyebrow product of the year has been the Miranas Touch Up Brow Sculptor. I only use the fine point pencil, which is an angled... Well, it's not angled. It's... it's how can I show you? It's not round. It's like oval, which is so easy to draw little brow strokes in because it's not circular it's thinner and I love it I don't like the feeling gel at all it is like shimmery and not a flattering color but I love the pencil my favorite mascara I have one high end and one drugstore my favorite high end mascara of the year is the Lancome Hypno Star I went through three samples of this before finally going and purchasing the full size at $52 in Australia I obviously really like it my favorite drugstore mascara I think I've taken this has taken over my falsies, the clump crusher. I've had this out for about two months now, but it is amazing. I really love this. It is so good. It's better than the falsies. It's better than all the other drugstore mascaras that I can remember using. I love it. Eyeshadow, the first half of the year was all about my Naked One palette. Still, I loved this palette. I still do. I wore this to my formal. It is amazing. I love this palette. It's amazing. As I said, I don't know how many times I can say amazing. But second half of the year, it was completely overtaken by my Too Faced Matte Eye Palette. I am so thankful to Melissa for sending this to me. It has been my go-to eyeshadow look. For, I think it was for four months straight, I used just this. And I love it. I have it on today. I tried to wear a lot of the products I like today. But, so, I'm wearing the eyeliners today, the eyebrow, obviously, I'm not wearing the eyeshadow bases. I'm wearing Max Paint Pot, but because I'm wearing a matte eye, I didn't want to put a shimmering colour under it, because I really like these shadows. I have Tufted Suede Chinchilla Coffee Bean and Vintage Violet on today, and it is amazing. Oh, the last thing I have for eyes, well, I have two things kind of for eyes. The Tarte Eyelash Curler. I wasn't a girl for curling my eyelashes, but this has changed my life. I love it. It makes my eyelashes look amazing, and I love it. 
random kind of beauty favorite Avon double-sided tweezers this is awesome so there's the regular kind of tweezer side which I use obviously on my eyebrows to tweeze but if I have a really small hair I can't get to this side is tiny pointed and it is just great to get in and it's double sided so you have both of them in one I love it it's really good price and it's really good quality I've had these for two years now and they're still going really strong I love these okay nail care I have a nail file of the year the OPI crystal file I keep the tin because otherwise I'd lose it this is awesome. It's really good at filing your nails. I could, cannot go back to a um, paper file now because this lasts so much longer. It is so much better and it is amazing. I cannot use paper files anymore. It is an investment but it lasts ages. I've had mine a year and a half and it's still going strong. And then OPI's Nail Envy. This one is running out. I've had <laughs> between my family I'm pretty sure we've had this for six months now and it is gone it is gross we have another one but this is just the one I picked up upstairs it is amazing it's so good for my nails it strengthens them if I just put it on during school because I can't have color it really just gives them a lot more strength and it's it may just be a placebo effect but to me it really stops them chipping as like my nails breaking as much Skincare, I love my Michael Todd skincare this year. My Honey and Oat Gentle Deep Pore Cleanser and the Blue Green Algae Antibacterial Toner. These things have been amazing. I, my skin would not be like it is this year. I love this line of products. I've been using a lot of different moisturizers. I really like the Clinique Gel, Total Dramatic Gel not the moisturizing, the moisturizing gel not cream but it's really good but I love these I do like the Michael Todd moisturizer as well but as I said I've been using the Clinique one but these are amazing hair I could not have got through this year without Batiste my favorite of the year is the XXL volume it adds so much volume to the hair and it is just amazing like I have it in and I have flattened it down a bit because it can give so much volume. I use it in conjunction with the blush one, but this is amazing. So those have been my beauty favourites of 2013. I hope you have enjoyed these videos. I know it is like a series of two videos, but I just wanted to make them shorter videos because otherwise it would have gone on forever. Um, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment down below on what your 2013 beauty favourites were. Please click the subscribe buttons right here and I'll keep you up to date on all of my videos. And I believe that today is the last day to enter my giveaway. So the day this goes up, either today or tomorrow is the last day to enter the giveaway that I'm having. So I'll link it down below until it does close. So if it's not there, it's obviously closed. Please get your entries in. I'd love to send you guys the awesome prize that you will be winning. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.